welcome to Apple subscriptions uh, in this video I'll go over the core features of the app as well as help you with the setup so if you have installed our app this is the screen you would see and this is the onboarding screen which gives you option whether yeah, you want us to you know start with setting up you know one of your product on subscriptions or if you are you're migrating from another subscription app or uh, you know you just want to skip onboarding uh, let's do one thing we'll go ahead and create product uh, like we'll put a product on subscription uh, and uh, uh, this can be done you know even if we exit onboarding but let's go ahead and do it and uh, it won't show up because we haven't yet enabled uh, app embedded block in your theme so let's say I wanna put uh, this product and all its variants on subscription uh, that's about it I'm gonna keep it simple that it's a pay-as-you-go plan uh, in Shopify you have multiple subscription plans you have prepaid uh, which essentially means that you are charging your customer upfront for three months but you would be delivering every month uh, or you know uh, it can be any variation of it and prepaid one time is just you know if you just wanna like after those three months are over do you want to auto renew or do you just want it to pause so one time would basically just pause it auto renew would uh, you know continue that subscription I'll just go with something simple with this pay as you go uh, monthly subscription and this is the name I'm giving uh, let's change this to monthly subscription uh, the description is what would show on your subscription widget this also shows on subscription widget you can even find more details about it here uh, it goes over like how it's gonna show up uh, uh, and then uh, you know what would be the frequency of the subscription for now let's keep it one month only uh, renewal day uh, like would you want this subscription to be, uh, renew uh, the day when it was bought or it has to be uh, your, you know first of every month or second of every month uh, for again uh, 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 to keep it simple I'm just gonna keep it like this we have separate tutorials that goes over you know every use case and I would urge you to go over it uh, it's uh, here as only uh, support and tutorials all right so discount it's an you know important feature so I want to go over it discount is like if someone is buying something on subscription do you want to give them let's say 5% off or something so we say 5% off again we have many other flavors of percentage and uh, if if uh, you know do you want to incentivize your customer to continue on subscription maybe you want to say that hey if you continue with us for four cycles we will increase the discount to 10 percent so that's about it let's do next and this would essentially save your subscription plan and we would be let let it complete all right at this point uh, you know a subscription plan is created and we are just letting you know that hey uh, if you want this subscription widget to show up on your theme then you need to enable app embed block uh, or if you're just exploring app you can just do exit onboarding but in this case I'm gonna assume that we want to show the widget so let's go to Shopify uh, all right it's enabled so I'll just hit save here and the moment you would hit save you would see that this button is enabled now so we can just click on it start selling uh, then you are supposed to select one of these uh, pricing plans based on your requirements you can select one I'm just gonna select business premium so that we have access to all the features so let me uh, again I'm using a test store that's why you're seeing this all right All right, so uh, this is the dashboard. I wanna go over a few things which may not be applicable to you. First thing you see is this banner. This banner is essentially coming from Shopify. Uh, like basically Shopify is telling our app that this store isn't eligible for subscription. Uh, it could be for many reasons and we have given eligibility criteria from Shopify uh, over here. Uh, one of the most common reasons is that you are using a payment provider that's not supported. Uh, for subscriptions within Shopify so these are the ones supported but since mine is test store it won't be applicable uh, but in case you run into this if you see this banner 
uh, please ensure that you know you are using one of the payment gateways and uh, you know it's important like you go over these like accelerated checkouts are not uh, are supported but again it depends from case to case basis same goes for stripe it's supported uh, only for certain merchants um, and uh, there are some other restrictions too so yeah it's worthwhile going over it all right so we have this and uh, uh, this is our dashboard uh, now let's go over some of the core concepts before I show you the storefront with widget and everything subscription plan this is where we basically configure product on subscription we already did one right uh, and you can create multiple subscription plan within a subscription plan you can create more frequencies too so maybe you want to say that hey uh, a product can be bought on a subscription uh, you know on a monthly subscription or bi-monthly or every quarter or so on so you can do all that uh, once someone buys subscriptions they would show up over here in on your subscription screen uh, one, once we buy a subscription I'll sh show you the screen uh, analytics uh, we have very thorough analytics for for your subscriptions which overview subscriptions revenue cohort analysis uh, and then there are tons of other things like if you want to customize widget that would go under widget customization and there are quite a few uh, customization over here uh, customer portal uh, again I'll show you and it would make more sense in terms of if you want to change labels or uh, permissions uh, various configurations and so on all right so let's do one thing at this point let's go to storefront and look for the product that we put on subscription so this was the one selling plan ski back actually one more thing I want to show so you can either use our merchant portal or you can configure a product on subscription even from uh, uh, actually maybe it's not Here we go so it it says like this one is on monthly subscription you can even manage it from here uh, now let's go to uh, let's look for this product here and you see that it has basically our uh, subscription widget uh, you can customize it uh, you know uh, however you want we have very extensive customization over here uh, let me show you more widget uh, we have various kind of uh, sub, uh, you know sub, uh, widget style here you go another one third one and so on labels can be customized from here uh, there is also like if you want to change the thickness or colors or anything you can do it from here um, and then more importantly if let's say uh, you want complete control we also have something um, called CSS uh, here you go so you can even you know add any CSS you want and uh, uh, again we have this nice preview over here you can use this so yeah this is a subscription and it's saying after fourth hour get 10 percent off uh, for your entire order uh, again uh, if you want to change text or anything everything is customizable uh, let's go ahead and buy this subscription uh, it says monthly subscription here and on your checkout you would see that it says recurring subtotal uh, one thing you notice i haven't logged in yet to the store so i'll just provide it my email address uh, and Shopify would automatically tie it up to my account uh, so I'll go ahead and this is a test store so this would I'll just use as this as a credit card number uh, 25 pay now all right it's done at this point uh, before I go over uh, you know all the storefront I want to show you a few things from the admin side so if you look at it here is your order you would see there is a slight difference in this order versus your other orders it says view subscription because it was bought on a subscription so you can click on it and it would take you to your, our subscription app with the subscription details page so that's one thing second uh, now if I go back to thank you page uh, you would see that we have manage your subscription button over here again you can control the text and everything over here uh, so your customers can access subscription from here which is essentially gonna take them to uh, customer portal from use it via magic link and this magic link is uh, in this case uh, we haven't enabled magic link but uh, uh, let me actually log in so that I can show you 
manage subscription and uh, you can see that uh, you know it has subscription and all the details and it's uh, very customizable from our uh, customer portal section all right so uh, this is uh, this is where your customers can add more products or you know edit this one delete it uh, buy something as a one-time purchase and so on uh, so this is done uh, this was your so this is now your subscription screen this is where you would see all your customers would see subscriptions if you click on customers it's just gonna show you the same thing but this time it would be a customer view so you all your customers with their subscription how many subscription each customers has you would see the value over here uh, and that's essentially the basics of our app we have a lot of other things like subscription boxes uh, product bundles for subscriptions um, uh, loyalties loyalties is also very important if uh, concept if you wanna you know uh, give more and more um, uh, sort of incentives for your customers to stay with you so you can say like we said after fourth cycle is 10 percent off but after you know uh, 10th cycle you want to further give 20 percent off and and so on uh, uh, so so yeah you can uh, and we have very extensive tutorials uh, i would urge you to go over it plus we have 24 7 support so please reach out to us if you have any questions we uh, reply back within two to three minutes uh, uh, that's all for now thank you i hope you enjoy our app and reach out to us if you have any questions bye